Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out to pull the pots to bring them closer to the shore. And then we're gonna go see my new boat. I've got a GU license and hopefully we can get it sorted quickly and get some fish on the boat. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Check that out for pot bait. My friend gave me these. Loads of lovely gurnard. And then I've got some mackerel for the ones that I've got bags in. Beautiful. Looking forward to this. We've got a miserable cloudy day with rain. But hey, it's been three weeks since we've been to the pot. So hopefully it's stacked up on lobster. Got it. These are going to be weeded up. Look at that. Three weeks we've had northeasterly winds and I can't fish on my boat on a northeasterly. Yeah, it's exciting to finally get back out. We're stuck into some crab pots. Yeah, we'll go take a look at my new boat once I've finished this, guys, because me and my friend Matt's going to move it. Beautiful. Lovely little super dinghy. I'm going to do it all off. And then once we get the license sorted, we'll go sell some fish. Everything's going to be very small time, but it's nice to have a license as a plan B as well. Tell them excited to get out when you forget your life jacket. Anyone watching, always wear one. Trust me, if you fall in with like, these are not waders, these are oil skins. If you fall in with these, it's a nightmare to get out of the water. Nice spider crab. Loads of spider crab. There's a little lobster in there as well. It's a nice spider. We'll hold on to that for now. Right here. Oops. Nearly got his claw stuck. It's a little lobster. Definitely not a keeper. One more crab. Alright, get this one baited up. On to the next one. I can see all of my bobbers. Lovely. Oh, that's made me pleased. Three weeks through storms and everything they've been. Yeah, they've been through all the storms and everything, so I was a bit worried that they were going to get washed in the rocks. Look what's here. Some spider crabs. No lobsters in that one. Nice spider crab. Loads more spiders. That's a lovely fresh spider, that one. Got a little brown crab. We've had no lobsters, a bunch of small crabs in there. Get these emptied and we're on the next one. What a nightmare to get this one was. More baby spider crabs. Pot's here. Oh, I see a lobster. Oh yeah, nice lobsters. Beauty. Get rid of the small crab. That one there might be a keeper. That one there is oh out by about two millimeters. That other one in there, definite keeper. Big old male lobster, that's what I want to see. 
lovely and solid. If I put the gauge on that, you'll see how much bigger that really is. Beauty, one lobster down. Nice, that's made my day, that is. Woo! Here it comes, last part of this string. Still got two strings out here as well. A load of spider crabs in that one. It's not a bad crab. Alright, I'll empty a couple of these small ones out. We're going to get all these moved. Once I think I'm going to pick up one more string. Or I might pick both up yet and then we'll just move them all. Little brown crabs and a spider in there. Really soft brown crabs as well. You can always tell by how pale they are. Lobster. Oh, that might be a keeper, that one. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper for sure. I don't know what I've done with my gauge. I'm just going to chuck him in the bait bucket for now. And we'll measure him in a minute. He's definitely legal. Come on, last pot. Right, oh, we've got another string here. Last pot of this string. Here she comes. Let's see it down there. Come on, give us a lobster. What are we going to get? Oh, one, one spider crab in that one. Terrible. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to set this heavy string out here, leave it here, and then uh, I'll bring the other three in because I'm overweighting the boat a bit here. <laughs> Last of my deep strings. Look at that growth. That's three weeks of growth on that. Crazy. We got her, I think. First four. Oh, there's a spider. Look at that for a spider. <laughs> That's a nice spider, that one. I'll keep that in the bucket for now. Bunch of small brown crabs. Bunch of small stuff in that one. More spider crabs. Look how red that one is. It's not a bad one. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to that for now. Fancy a nice crab sandwich or something. Might do that for a cooker. I haven't had spider crab in three weeks and uh, they're not going to be around for a huge amount longer, so it's best to get your fill now. Right, pot's, pot's baited. 
Now all I've got to do is climb over the crab pots and drive us back inshore. How lovely. We've still got some more inside pots to do yet, but that's the bulk of them. And I bring them in all inshore so when I've got my super dinghy with the license, I can work in shore more instead of right out here. I don't want to come out here in my 12 foot boat. Almost forgot about this string. I was like, I swear I had ink wells. And then I remembered where I put them. <laughs> Got one more string after this to pull. Look at that spider crab. You can tell that's been left there a while. Yellow. So there we go guys, we've got two lovely big male lobsters there, that's a beauty that one, this one's slightly smaller but still well in keeper size, I found my measure before so there we go, you can see it's about a centimetre in, this one's about an inch in, <laughs> but lovely to see, caught a couple of lobsters, get a nice feed out of them, now I've even got three spider crabs there as well, there you go guys, my new little vessel <laughs> just got a bit of paperwork to do and we'll be fishing this is the super dinghy i've taken the engine off and all the bits she needs a bit of a paint up because she's been she's been used quite a bit <laughs> she's a solid little 12 foot super dinghy got a chart plotter fish finder gps her name is mole gu82 Definitely going to be a new life adventure. I'm going to fiberglass the gunnels a bit more, paint it whatever colours are. I'm really not sure what to paint it, really. If you know, guys, if you've got any opinions, leave it in the comments of colours. I'm thinking white gunnels with red, but my, my uh, opinion might change pretty quickly. But yeah, soon we'll be able to sell the lobsters and fish we catch. Nothing on a big scale, very, very small, but it'd be nice for the boat to pay for itself. Make some interesting videos.